And last but not least, the final path operation we need to update is the update post path operation. We'll grab the cursor object and we'll execute our SQL statement again. And so here we'll do uh, update posts. And then here we want to set the title. And what do we want to set our title to? Well, that's going to be passed in from the user. So any kind of data we get from the user, you know, we have no idea if they put in, you know, very suspicious SQL uh, data. So we always want to put the placeholders. Uh, and so all the fields that they can update are going to be the title, the content, and published. So then the next one's going to be content. And the last one's going to be published. And then we'll pass in those values, and that's going to come from our post object. So we'll do post.title, post.content, and finally post.published. And uh, just like we had with inserts and delete, we can do a returning. So we can actually get the returned, we can actually return the updated object, the returning star, so we can get all the columns. And then to actually fetch that updated post, we have to do cursor dot fetch one. And then we'll save that in a variable called updated post. And then we can remove this. This is our previous code. And then for the little check to make sure that uh, we actually got a, an updated a post, we can get updated post. If we didn't, if it returned none, then we're going to send a 404 because a post with that ID didn't exist. And then we can delete all of this nonsense. And then what we return back is going to be updated post. Up, make sure you get updated with a D, or then if you just do update post, it tries to call it this own function, which doesn't work. And I'm just going to see what I have in my database. So I've got a post uh, with an ID of one. So we're going to update him. You can see currently the title is first post. So if I go to my update post, I'm going to send it with a ID of one. We're going to update that post. And then it's going to have an updated title. So if we see that get updated, then we know it worked. So we'll send, do a send. We can see what we got back. And so it looks like it updated. But let's actually double check with our database. And it did not update. And I'm sure you guys can take a guess as to exactly what went wrong. Remember, anytime you want to make changes to a database, we need to do the connection.commit. So let's try this again. All right, so we got the same result. Let's take a look at our database, run this, and then we've got updated title. It looked like it updated both. And uh, that looks like a bug. So what did we do wrong? Well, if you look at our code, we're updating every single post because I didn't provide a where condition. What post do I need to update? So that's a mistake on my end. So we have to do where, and then we'll say ID equals, and that ID is gonna come from this value. So we're going to put another placeholder there. And then that last value is going to be the ID converted to a string, just like we did before. So simple mistake. I'm going to save that. And before I do that, I'm just going to change this back to first post. And I'm going to change this back to second post. And then it's just going to have some random text. And then we'll save that. Then let's update this. All right, so we updated our code. And then let's take a look at our database. We'll run this again. And we can see that it was updated. And you'll notice how that first post then moved down the list because it was most recently updated. But we updated just one post this time. And then last but not least, let's try to update a post that doesn't exist. So I'm going to search for an ID of 23, try to update that. And then if I do that, uh, we can see that we get a little bit of an error. So what happened here? We got data equals null. Uh, and so uh, it looks like this didn't work. And it looks like uh, it got it changed back to update post. So make sure uh, you reference this variable. So I need that D. And now let's try that. And now we get the correct 404.